Welcome to the 2020 Northwest New Jersey Managed Mentoring Program. My name is Kevin England, and I want to spend a little time introducing the program for everyone. In this session, we'll tell you what the program is about. We'll give you an overview of how it operates, and then we'll begin to look at the activities that are involved and give you some to-do items before we leave the session. We'll talk about how the program is structured, but first we wanna talk a little bit about mentoring. It is sage wisdom, as we know, to find yourself a mentor. And many beginning beekeeping courses and books will recommend that you find yourself a mentor. We know that it would be much easier if you had someone looking over your shoulder all the time and someone you could pick up the phone or stop in on and call for questions. It makes complete sense and we agree, but there's a problem. The challenge is there's not enough seasoned beekeepers out there to be mentors for everyone. Those who can may already offer their time and can only handle so many beekeepers. People have busy lives. Most people work for a living and they have to manage their own bees. The difficulty is that if you're seeking a mentor, they're hard to come by, especially if you wanna try and get one dedicated to yourself. So to temper expectations, we're going to tell you that we will not be able to provide you a one-on-one -on -one mentor, but hang in there, we'll talk to you about the hybrid approach that we're gonna give. In 2006, there was a lot of media in the press for colony collapse disorder, or CCD. Ever since that time frame, there has been a renewed interest and surge in new beekeepers joining beekeeping associations. It has upset the balance of the number of new beekeepers to experienced beekeepers, which is a good problem to have, but also a problem. The secondary effect is it has become a popular pastime because of people with green notions and wanting to do something for the bees and has showed no sign of slowing down. We know that that doesn't change your desire to have a mentor. Maybe you have no experience. And as you get into looking at what beekeeping is about, you become overwhelmed. There is a lot to learn, no doubt. And even if you do have some experience, you went to a starter course or you read some books, there are times when you get into the practice and you're not quite sure of what you're doing. Then again, maybe you jumped right in, you went through a season, your bees died, unfortunately, and now you wanna make sure that you get a better start at it. And of course, there's always the ever-present concern that you're gonna get stung, you don't wanna kill the bees, and if you're gonna make this big investment, you should get some honey out of it. In Northwest, we recognize the problem, but as we're showing you, we don't have enough mentors to handle everybody, so let's talk about what we're gonna do about it, and that's the Managed Mentoring Program. This hybrid program is a two-year program, and it looks at things differently. First thing to say about bees is, they're not truly domesticated. They do live in the wild and they do survive. However, there are so many challenges in the environment these days to bees that beekeepers can support bees better with the right management practices. And it all takes a good plan. The better question for a new beekeeper is, what can go wrong? Where is the problems that you'll fall? What are the pitfalls and the traps? And if you knew where you could go wrong, you could avoid all those things. That's where Northwest comes in because we've been helping new beekeepers get up and running for decades. And we know what challenges you'll face and what questions you might have. We know also that if you go out on the internet and seek answers from various places, you're gonna come up with different answers to different questions 
and it's very confusing, especially on the internet. For this program, we've taken the wisdom from experienced beekeepers and crafted a solution to support you in the time that you need it with the skills you need for the task at hand. It's not a training course. And there are several short courses. That's what a new beekeeper training course is called, getting started in beekeeping, that are available out there. And we do encourage you to go take those. The more background you have, the better off you'll be. So look up in this season, beginning beekeeping courses, and see if you can get yourself into one. This is not a beekeeping service. We're going to expect that you're going to follow the instructions we give. And we're not going to keep your bees for you. Some folks like to have bees for the purpose of saying they have bees, but we're expecting you to put in the work. There's a term in the world called bee haver. Don't be a bee haver, be a beekeeper. Talking about the solution, we recommend starting out with Langstroth hives. We know that some wish to start out with top bar or ware or other types of hives, but this is one of those constraints that we will give along with some others that we would like you to stay focused on the type of program that we're offering to get the best success out of it. And then in a few years, if you have wherewithal, you can switch it up and go down different paths. This program is open to Northwest members that are part of Hunterdon and Warren counties. We are chartered to support beekeepers in our geography, but we know that some of our beekeepers come from other parts of the states. For this program, we're restricting our mentor visits, especially to just those that are in Hunterdon and Warren County. It's not fair to ask our volunteers to be driving all over the state. If you are a member outside of Hunterdon and Warren County, you're welcome to participate but we will not be including you in the mentor visits. We also know that others from the internet follow Northwest. You're welcome to follow the program and anything that we post. What will you receive? It'll be a tailored plan, step-by-step -step, telling you what you should do, when you should do it, and how you should do it, supported by beekeeping visits. We will visit you two to three times a year, if, they, if you want us to, some people don't. They got it under control and they beg off the visits. And our goal is to come and ensure that you're on the right track and that you're uh, where you're supposed to be. And if not, we'll give you information. So we'll facilitate a network of beekeepers to consult and communicate with. Now, if you look at the diagram, you'll notice on the left, You'll get a seasoned beekeeper, that's your mentor. You'll get an experienced beekeeper that helps that mentor. It's a protege program. And then we are going to ask beginner beekeepers to come in and follow those two to support every time you go out and meet a beekeeper. The beginner beekeeper will often be a beekeeper who's gone through the mentoring program the previous year and we're hoping to graduate those into experienced roles so that they someday can become mentors. On the right-hand side, you see two beginner beekeepers. We are going to encourage you in the Manage Mentoring Program to map up to other beginner beekeepers. It's so much easier just when you have a quick phone call or how did yours turn out or what do your hives look like when you can collaborate with someone else. We will visit at pivotal times of the year. There are a few times, as you'll come to know, that you need to take specific activities. And we will come to your hives and watch you do an inspection. We will do my checks. And we will answer any questions you have about your hives, all the while looking at your hives for progress. Now, if you get in a situation where it's not one of those two or three times of the year, but you have a problem, we will do emergency consults. 
if everything is well, and for the most part, that's usually the case, then you won't need to do this. But if you have a problem, we will do our best to arrange a meetup and get someone out to you. This is how the program works. It's a two year annual plan. We will plan beekeeping activities from I want bees, you've decided to become a beekeeper, through the end of year number two. And it will be managed in logical parts. Along the way, as we said, you'll be getting beekeeper visits where mentors will come out and see you and come and check at critical times during the summer and in the fall when your bees are getting ready for winter. We will also, to the best of our ability, host networking, beekeeping get-togethers and consults, a forum of some kind. And we want you to sustain the program through Pay It Forward. We're hoping that as you get into the program and you have good success, you'll continue to participate with us. Module number one, first one. This is gonna happen in the next couple of weeks. We call this session, I Want Bees to Bees in the Box. This is everything you need to know in order to get started before you get your bees. Module two, getting up and running. You have bees in the box now, and you're gonna take them to a fully operational hive. Module three, surviving winter. You'll come out of summertime, and you'll go into winter and we'll make sure that your bees are as healthy as they can be so that they can make it over winter to the next spring. In the winter to spring program, we'll tell you what necessary maintenance you'll require while you're taking care of your bees in winter. And we'll also do further beekeeping education with special sessions run through module four. And module five is spring to summer year two. Everything you need to do to get ready for the oncoming nectar flow and getting your bees set so that you can get a honey harvest and prevent your bees from swarming. Continuing into year two, we'll teach you extracting honey. We'll teach you summer to fall with full-size colonies, and we'll teach you how to overwinter in year two, along with additional techniques for queen management and other activities required to get a full understanding. Once you get through year number two, it's pretty much a repeat of year number two and year number three, and we'll roll you out of the program as a successful candidate. Each part of the journey for the first two years will be broken down and it will give you the advice you need for the period to succeed in that time frame. Along the way, we will cover what you need, how to prepare, how to install your bees, colony care, managing colony health, harvesting honey, basic biology, management practices, and we'll teach you a bit of humility as the bees will always keep you honest for sure. Our plan is to keep it simple, basic. We use this term doggy, ducky, horsey to say that it does not need to be overwhelming and complicated. We know that many beekeeping organ organizations have meetings all the time, ours included, that talk about complicated topics. This will run as a separate work stream dedicated to beginners and we will take the time in those sessions to explain terminology, answer questions, whatever you may be. And you'll be in and amongst other new beekeepers who will share your passion for trying to figure out what it is you're doing. Many programs overload. This is not a dig on other programs and our program, because we do this sometimes too, but we have to cater to experienced beekeepers alike. So this is your program. We're not going to talk about 
queen semination and things like that that you don't need to know when you're just trying to figure out how to get your bees in a box. The sessions will be geared for what comes next on a right on time approach. Along the way, we'll cover what will round up the experience and it will be contextual. So there is a time when you need to start worrying in your first year about mite management. And you will at some point need to understand the basics of queen rearing and swarms and splits and things like that. We will work these in and you will see them on the schedule. Now we can't guarantee that this program is gonna be an overwhelming success. It should be known that this is probably considered year one. And we have to take the disclaimer that this is a new program. And we also have to take the disclaimer that people lose bees. It's just the way the world works there. If you go and look at something like Bee Informed Partnership, which collects surveys from beekeepers, they'll tell you that anywhere from 30 to 40 to 50% of all colonies are lost in given places. That being said, we need to say to you as a new beekeeper, you should be tolerant to this type of thing and know that there's a bit of risk. If you want an ironclad guarantee, you might want to look at a different hobby because sometimes beekeeping can be challenged. That being said, we are, um, how should we say this? Encouraged that you will have a good season and a good experience and be far more successful part participating in this program than if you try to go it alone. Unfortunately, it's not an exact science and there are mistakes made with instructions that are misunderstood or you could kill a queen or maybe your bees for some reason were not a good quality. There's all kinds of reasons. And again, as long as you we get this out of the way, we can move on. So what's next? What's the situation? We kick off the program with the first module. It's about getting started, being neighborly, bees, protective equipment, sourcing your supplies, and equipment prep. In 2020, the way we're gonna do this is release two videos that were produced last year. They've been updated and edited for this year. And we encourage you to watch those videos. There will be announcement to members through Northwest New Jersey's constant contact email list, indicating a session coming up where we'll have our first get together for the Managed Mentoring Program mentees in 2020. If you don't receive the emails from the club, write an email to nwnjba at live.com. Let's take a moment and talk about hypothetical annual plans. This is a sample management plan. If you were sitting in the beginning of January, we would tell you go check your entrances, make sure your bees have food on Valentine's Day, April 1st, do your monitoring, April 14th, expand, expand your brood chamber so that your bees don't swarm and so on. We will build a plan like this for you. And every beekeeper is going to be in a different situation, so we'll help you craft your own plan. We will provide you with a model of a likely management plan as we go through the different sessions. So as you see by the example on the screen, this is what one might look like if you're starting with packages versus starting with nucleus hives that you might purchase. So in the first session or second session, we'll provide you a baseline plan. And we'll also follow the New Jersey Beekeepers Association calendar as guidance. And we'll show you what that is and how that works. We're expecting that you have an investment in this. In order for us to do a good job, we need you to take good notes. How you do it is really up to you, but we need you to have good records for when we come, 
we can see what you've been up to and how things work. What comes next? Let's talk about that. We want you to look for these instructions. They're available on our website and you can download them or you can go purchase this beekeeping basics guide. It's been out there for quite a while, but it's still very relevant and it has a lot of good information and anything that's outmoded, we will help you get past that by providing you up to date information. So we ask that you download and get acquainted with the beekeeping basics guide. We'll have a link on the website and then get your equipment ready, get your site set up and purchase anything you need. Information about our mentoring program is available at our website, nwba.njbeekeepers.org. And we look forward to this year's mentoring program and would encourage our Northwest members to stay posted at our website for information. Thanks everyone for the time. If you're gonna participate, we look forward to meeting you. And again, look at our website and keep posted to the emails for information on upcoming sessions.